Hi, I'm David. Hello, Rachel. Welcome to Leisure Bit. And today we're coming to you from the station in at Ribblehead. Let's go and take a look around. <laughs> After a lovely time at Stumpcross Caverns and Grassington, we then headed over to Ingleton and called off at Country Harvest to grab something for lunch. We were then staying at the Station Inn at Ribble Head and took the time to visit the station and the exhibition that was on there and took a wander around the Ribble Head Viaduct. Hey, darling. We ended up taking a fairly long route down Wharfdale on our visit to Country Harvest in Ingleton, which was our first stop. And we actually passed the station in where we were stopping overnight on the way. On the left hand side we pass White Scar Caves which is a great place to visit if you like the shore caves similar to Stump Cross. We're just coming into Ingleton now. And now we're arriving at Country Harvest. Country Harvest has a good selection of gifts and food and various other things. Well worth popping in if you're in the area. We thought we'd grab something tasty for lunch. After we'd had a look around Country Harvest and grab something for lunch, I moved the van to the overflow car park as it had a nice outlook across a lovely grassed area and Rachel took Roxy for a walk. We then headed to the station inn at Ribble Head, which we're staying over for the night. When we visited you could stop over for free, providing you're eating and or drinking in the pub. It's a great base if you're walking the three peaks, especially Wernside. The back of the Station Inn car park overlooks the Ribblehead Viaduct. Ribblehead Station's very close by, just across the way from the Station Inn, and you can catch a train on the Settle to Carlisle Railway from there. You don't need to book at the Station Inn to stay over, but you do need to make sure you check in at the bar on arrival so that they're aware of who's staying over. And also be mindful if it's busy, you may obviously struggle to get a space. There's a track you can join very close to the Station Inn that allows you to wander up, if you fancy, all the way up to Wernside. There's some facilities available at the Station Inn for when you stop over including chemical disposal, drinking water, and there's also a toilet. There were some port as well, but they were out of service when we visited. You were given a code when you checked in at the bar to access the toilet and washroom facilities. Worth noting as well that mobile reception was fairly hit and miss in this area, but there was high-speed Wi-Fi available for which you could get the code and use it free of charge from the bar. And this was the lovely view you could see out the back of the van. There was parking available down the hill there where you can see some of the cars parked if you fancy parking up there and going for a walk as well. The Station Inn also has a beer garden at the back of it, just next to where you park up if you're staying over in your camper van or motorhome, or even park in your car. And there's a gate from the beer garden which takes you out so that you can wander across to the viaduct and down the paths. Back to the van now, and then I think we'll pop into the Station Inn and grab ourselves a quick drink. Mm -hmm. 
There was quite an oldie worldy field inside of the station inn. There was also books as well along the shelf which you could borrow while you were there if you wanted to read them. After we'd grabbed a drink we then took Roxy for a wander around. The Ribble Head Viaduct, which is also known as Batty Moss Viaduct, carries the settled Carlisle Railway across Batty Moss in the Ribble Valley in Ribble Head, which is in North Yorkshire. The viaduct built by Midland Railway is 28 miles northwest of Skipton and 26 miles southeast of Kendal. It's a Grade 2 listed structure. Ribble Head Viaduct is the longest and the third tallest structure on the settled Carlisle Line. After having a wander around the viaduct, I then headed over to Ribblehead Station to take a look around there. As I arrived at the station there was a passenger train just heading over towards the viaduct. And we're on the station platform now. There was an exhibition on at the station which was really interesting and had a lot of information about both the railway, the Ribblehead Viaduct and some of the challenges they had in terms of building it. The exhibition was free as well so well worth a visit and a look around if you're interested in the railways and the history of the area. There's also a cafe at the railway station, which did really nice scones and cakes and coffee. Really pleased I went to check that out. Back to the station inn now. You can see there the sign that just gives the information on check-in for stopovers. And then we're back in the car park and heading back to the van. Just see one of the passenger trains there coming across the viaduct. As the day progressed it really started to brighten up, so I took Roxy for another walk around. Back to the station inn in the van now so that we can go and get something for dinner and then we can settle in for the night. There was another train crossing the viaduct but it's an amazing place to stop when there's steam trains and some of the classic trains going across the viaduct. I bet you'd get some amazing pictures.
We had a lovely meal in the station inn and settled down for the night. And then the following morning, waking up to beautiful views across the viaduct and Wernside. We then had to head on our way back, unfortunately, but I've had no hesitation in recommending the station inn. So Rachel, what did you think of the station inn and Ribble Head? What a great pub stopover. Um, the food's been lovely, absolutely excellent view, scenery of the viaduct, great place to walk the dog, brilliant. What do you think? Yeah, it's been excellent and there's fresh water, chemical disposal and a toilet which you get the code for as well. So what more can you ask for? Nice food too. Only a five minute walk to the station as well if you want to have a run on the Settle to Carlisle Railway with its beautiful scenery. And you can watch the trains go past out of the back window. What more could you ask for? And it's free you're eating and drinking in the pub. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, Bye. for now.